Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas and today I'm gonna be showing you a pretty awesome boomerang style effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Okay, so today I'm bringing you guys this tutorial on how to do a boomerang Instagram style effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Now I stumbled upon this technique while I was editing a video business card I did for a business owner and I was creating some promo to add value to her Instagram and this happened. So I wanted to share with you guys how to mimic that boomerang effect, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Okay, so first things first, I inserted the clip we're gonna use. And as you can see, I also did some speed ramping in this, and this was actually in the final video I created. I'll show you guys how to speed ramp after this if you do not know how to do that. But for right now, I'm gonna show you the boomerang effect as promised. The duration of this is like three seconds. I wanna at least make this video at least like maybe almost 15 seconds max, and it'll be a constant loop. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna hit Command C, I'm gonna highlight the scene, highlight the clip, I should say, hit Command C, then I'm gonna come all the way over to the end, hit Command V, Command V, Command V. So I'm at like the 13 second mark, which is perfect for me, because this video will probably up, be uploaded on Instagram, and it's gonna be a constant loop. Now that we have these here, I'm gonna highlight the first clip, I'm gonna hold option, and then I'm gonna get my mouse over that same clip while I'm holding option down, and go ahead and raise up. And you're gonna see it, you're pretty much copying it. Now what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna bring it right next to it, but check this out. I highlight this, come over here, and reverse clip. So this is gonna make it go backwards. Now here's the kicker. We're gonna fast forward at minus 20x. And what this does is it plays it off real quick. And so I'm gonna hit option, click what we just did, the reverse clip, get the mouse, raise on up, boom. And I'm gonna insert that right after each of the main scenes. Now, I'm gonna do it one more time. And whatever the last scene is, we're going to end it with this reverse clip because if it's going to be playing in a loop and if you ever uploaded a video on Instagram, you know it starts back from the front when the video is over. So technically, this thing will be playing nonstop. So it gives it like a seamless transition. And like I said, I saw a few videos like this on YouTube, but not doing it in the style that I did with the reverse clip and the negative 20. So I figured I'd share this with you guys because I thought it was cool. She loved it and it added value to her business. For those of you guys who don't know how to achieve this effect, I'm gonna give you a bonus on how to speed ramp super, super fast and effectively. So I have my scene right here. And as you can see, there's no speed ramping, right? So before we do it, we're gonna cut in. I wanna cut in right here, hit the blade tool, get rid of that excess. So I'm gonna hit play. And after she puts the glasses on, I'm gonna speed this part up. So I'm gonna highlight my clip that I'm using. I'm gonna hold shift in the blade tool, which is B, that's the shortcut. And then you're gonna see this chop right here, okay? Now, I'm gonna scroll through she stumbles with it a little bit. So I think I'm a, I like, I'm a cut it right here. So I'm gonna hit shift and then again, B at the same time. And as you can see up here, it says normal. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna speed ramp it 20 X. So it goes super quick and it adds a transition for you right here. You see that like, boom. So as soon as you hit the head, I'm gonna I'm make it go fast again. So again, you highlight the clip, hit shift, B, okay? And then she strikes the pose right there. 
I might go all the way right here. That might be actually good. So then I'm ready to do it again. Shift B at the same time. And then I'm gonna raise this fast to 20 X. And voila, we have a speed ramp. And that's how you speed ramp like a boss super, super quick. I did a tutorial like this in the past, but this one's way better. So two for one for you guys. This is how you get that boomerang Instagram effect using only Final Cut Pro 10. And I also showed you how to speed ramp so you can achieve this effect. I hope you liked this video. If it helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in Final Cut Pro 10, as well as vlogs, unboxings, reviews, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.